Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Platinum God of War. Alright, so in order to start this, let's throw our axe there, throw it again, throw it again, throw it again, quickly freeze it into place. Alright, so a bunch of enemies are going to attack me, and a trace is going to stay on this side. I am going to try and parry like crazy, I need Wait to do there. 9 parries. I could also try and... Do that. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <laughs> because of this one, I wasn't able to get it. Alright. May as well do that. I'll just try to carry the same one, it's okay. One. You can also parry projectiles, this, this counts. Oops, that second one. I think I'm up to three, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, four, five, six. Damn, that was stupid. They all fired at the same time, so it was much harder to. That was dumb. Okay, that's good. I think I need one more. One more. Okay, cool. Now I have to try and win. <laughs> of course it's punching me more now. I could use the axe, but um, if I do, then this area that I'm fighting in will um, begin to fall, and I don't want that. Okay, now I'm going to jump over there. Now I'll get it back. Grab these two. I'm fine, it will pass. Ah, oh, I was so close. <laughs> I was trying to, I forgot how to do the, uh, if I had thrown the axe immediately after I had done the runic attack, that would have been fine. Uh, okay, so that's annoying. Now I have to do it again. Alright, we'll try it again. It should be fine. That's one. Yes, I do need to do all nine parries again. <laughs> I don't know why this one catches on fire. But killing him while he's on fire or burning is a uh, is a thingo. A labor. So that's the second one. May as well just kill him and try and use these other two to do it. Especially if they time it at different times. Nope. Okay, that's good. I wish the other one hadn't started changing because now they're going to fire at the same time. This is mean. Wait, what if I do this? Okay, that worked out. Yeah, that's fine. Good. I don't know what I'm up to, so I just keep waiting. Nope, badly timed. The timing on this is very, uh, very nice. I just screwed up there. Kind of lenient is the word I was going for. There we go, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until they do that. Hop, pick it back up. I'm going to try and like hit them close to each other. Yes. Come on. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, so the game doesn't tell you that. It doesn't tell you that if you um hit it hit them in the back with your Leviathan axe with that move specifically, then it'll um deal a significant amount of stun damage. Because it, it tells you, you know, use your fists for stun damage, but 
Yeah. All right. New tip. Um, his attacks are so strong, it makes blocking them really hard. Father should probably just dodge them. Good, good advice. I don't know why we got a heavy Draugr um, tip when we didn't even fight the, any there. Okay, so... Now, we have, as you can see, our experience is extremely high. Um, I will upgrade my abilities after this part, because I don't think there are any more enemies uh, coming up, so... For a little while. So I'll upgrade it after we do this. Wow, uh, this has turned out really, really well. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to actually... Now, boy. Do this, and then use this one. There we go. And now we made it across. But we're not done with this area yet. First, we can punch that. We can collect our third, I think it is. Third faces of magic masks. So th they're a little bit tougher to find. I should have recalled this while I was waiting. Or oh, while I was doing that. Uh, the faces of magic or any artifact in the game are a little harder to find than your average, like, hack silver things. But, um... But it's not too bad. Like... There are some, there's one in particular that I think so many people missed on their first go and it's just, it's one of those, I'm like, part of me is like convinced that it's not there the first time, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> okay. So we can, actually, we can actually jump to this platform and we need to destroy these seals. So there's one seal over there. In order to get the one behind there, you actually need to lift this platform a little bit and then hit it with your axe like that. And the last one is over here. Very easy to find. There's no real reason to use this little jump down area here unless you did this whole place first, then went back to get Kratos' uh, armor upgrade, but I don't know why you would do that. Um, it makes more sense, I feel like, to upgrade it first and then deal with the uh, fight. Alright, we get our very first Horn of Bloodmead. Legendary. You have collected one of three Horns of Bloodmead, needed to increase your maximum rage. Uh, Horn of Bloodmead. Bloodmead is a rare drink that makes one's rage run deeper. Find the nine turtle horns in the world in chests locked by magic. Every three you collect will increase your maximum rage. So it's just the rage equivalent of the um, Ithan Apple. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also, yeah, there's a bunch of these like skeleton dudes, and you can actually destroy them. I don't there's no trophy associated with it. I think it was just something in the game the developers added and said like, yeah, let's just let him be able to do that. You can because I guess the axe is really fun to play with, so <laughs> which is very true. The axe this is way. extremely fun. All right, let's go up here. Watch the scene. been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish mom was here to see it. He wants to get closer to Atreus, but he's not sure he's ready yet. Alright, before moving on, if we run up here, we can find the fourth Phases of Magic Artifact. <laughs> so right there, just laying about. Uh, we'll pick up the... we'll get the experience soon. Hey, look at that! What is it? Boy. Look! There are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we too... We three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who haven't played the game, try and figure out that riddle. Uh, as we are, two and three, as I alone can never be. You'll uh, you'll see what it is. Those rings should be turning. You'll see what it is in a moment. Alright, turn this. And then you want to freeze this gear right here. You want to wait a little bit. Wait, 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 and then try and then freeze this one. And try and Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says 
family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Something happened! Family, what I alone can never be. Really cool. Better have a look behind here, see if there's anything. Okay, let's go. I'm happy we met Brock, but I'm happy we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Okay, before we move on, go over here to the left, and you can find, I'm not kidding, the fourth Faces Magic Artifact. <laughs> uh, fifth, sorry. <laughs> they just like put them one after the other. Okay. Okay, Atreus says there's something up there, and he is right. There are actually two somethings up there, and it's kind of hard to tell. There is an Odin's Raven right there. That's good, another 100 experience, and the other something up here is another bucket. Okay, uh, that's fine, we don't need to heal. Let's go over here. Alright, and before we continue out into there, we need to upgrade our skills. So, these are the skills that I want to get. Um, I definitely want to increase Atreus's, um, like, oh, I'll get his skills because they're very cheap. So increases arrow damage and melee damage, very useful for 500 experience, and increases the Talon Bow's firing rate, also very useful. So for faster firing. Now you'll see here he can, he can learn stuff here under this magic combat thing, but we haven't unlocked that yet. We've unlocked the ability to learn it, or oh, sorry, yeah, to learn it, but we don't actually have it. So that'll come later. Uh, we could upgrade some stuff on his shield or his rage, um, but there's no uh, point because it's just not that useful. Rage is only used uh, as a like, sort of like an I win button or an oh crap button. So don't worry too much about that. About that. Uh, what we do want to upgrade though is the Leviathan Axe. The very the best skill here right now is Permafrost. Perform attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up the Leviath Leviathan Axe and inflict frost damage on every hit. This is extremely powerful. Um, if you can just keep hitting without being hit, um, it just generates so much damage. So very, very useful, especially for only a thousand. Uh, this one's pretty good too. While evading, hold um, the left thumbstick forward and press R1 to perform a quick axe attack. So I'll demonstrate how that works. It's basically what it's showing there, but it's very useful. And finally, while sprinting, press R1 to perform a leaping attack. This is also very good frost rush, just to kind of run in there and start doing some damage immediately. The only other things that we had was precision throw combo, which is pretty good. You throw the ax um, and then it flies up in the air. And if you press triangle to recall it at the right time, it makes it a, uh, it inflicts frost damage on the next hit, which is pretty good, but it's just not that much damage. And then this one's pretty good to aim and hold R2 to charge up the Leviathan Axe and cause an explosion on impact that inflicts frost damage. So a little bit more frost damage, nothing too, too huge. These other three are much better. Uh, we don't have enough experience to get anything else, but it's crazy that we even have 796 remaining. So that's insane. Um, and that's it. We could level this up to level three, but it takes 4,000 experience, which we did have, but it's still not that great further increases stun damage inflicted and grants the ability to quickly cancel the attack so yeah it's not really that worth it um so what we got was pretty much the best stuff that we can get okay let's um i'm gonna move on to this part but i'm gonna take a quick break so i'll be right back okay i'm back let's continue boy these tracks hmm a boar maybe not sure but i'll find it go it is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. Okay, this part is quite challenging. Um, there will be a boss fight here and it's pretty hard. So uh, I'm just gonna do this one. Um, basically there will be, will be uh, extra enemies to fight as well as the main enemy. And yeah, you gotta keep track of everything. Run. You can dodge forward. All right, our second troll. Blast him with the frost. Keep attacking him. Pride of the Frost. Notice our uh, axe is gaining frost power in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, I just got, yeah. <laughs> Wombo comboed. Um, 
basically what happened there was there was an ad that um like another enemy that came out uh and he threw poison at me and uh it caused me to stagger and then the troll's large um thing fell on me as well as our attack oh that was interesting okay i know he's he's here because of the projectile thing so i'm gonna try and take him out Nice, got him with a pin to the wall. Okay, watch out for this attack, he throws a lot of fire everywhere. Two, three, four. The next adds will spawn when Brenna Douthy, I guess. If I'm reading that right. So I'm trying to keep throwing my axe so that the frost damage maintains. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna run over here. Grab this. Out of frost damage, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for this guy. Ow. Oh gosh. Alright, let's let's go crazy. I'm gonna go for this one as well. Ow. Alright, back to just fighting him. Oh, actually no, we got this guy. Nice. Another pin to the wall. And there's one more. And I can't move. Ah, how did he get me twice? <laughs> what happened there? I honestly don't know what happened why he managed to get me twice, but yeah, that sucks. <laughs> okay, we went off to a good start. That's alright, we will get this eventually. It takes a few attempts, really. Okay, nice Pride of the Frost combo. Second one. Ow. That was very unfair. Pretty sure that was pinned against the wall, but uh, he stole it from me. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> Alright. This one sucks because, like, you die so quickly, and if you don't do it right, it's. it just. yeah. Jeez, you can get real close. I always start with that uh, Hell's Touch because it just does significant damage straight away. I'm gonna avoid him and just go for you. This guy also starts on level 2 for some reason. Okay, we got it. I'm actually gonna stay back for this one. You can also hit those spots on his arms and legs to prevent him from doing certain attacks, but I've never really figured out, like, which ones. Okay. Next enemies will spawn at about half health. And that's not very nice. Alright, well, I'll grab that. And I'll grab this. Okay, let's damage him again. Okay, here are the next ones. Nice. Here's another one. Nice. Pretty good when you can get them like that. Alright, I'm gonna do this to try and get some health back. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. There's another one. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so mean. Alright, well, I guess we're just winning this fight in this episode, and that's it. Um, I guess I'll just cut to my successful attempt. Hopefully this is it. Oh, <laughs> 
well so far. Nice, got it again. These jerks. No! Okay, hang on. I can get this. Grab that. Grab that. Grab this. Now we're gonna go over here. Okay, I uh, don't even know what happened there, but we'll just do this. Ah, just keep punching him. Alright, back to the axe. Okay, this attack, watch out for it. Nice, I could counter that. I did try and dodge that, but it didn't work. Alright, we're almost done. Just have to hit him a couple more times. Okay, and we did it. Jerk. <laughs> uh, one. Get used to that animation. I'm out of breath. Okay, we picked up Ivaldi's Anvil, a heavy runic attack. This is a really good one. A devastating area of effect attack that freezes all enemies caught in the blast radius. So you can see here, Ivaldi's uh, Anvil, devastating area of effect attack that freezes all enemies caught in the blast radius. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our first heavy runic attack. Very, very, very useful. So we're going to put that on. And we also got uh, two soft Svartal Fime Steel. Let's have a look at the beast tree. So those were shadows. Didn't we see shadows already? Hmm, weird. Okay. They were human. These were human reavers, but now they've embraced the ways of the Seether. They can throw magic spells at a distance. All right, I know I'm out of time, so I'm going to end it here in a moment. Grab this. And Brenna Douthy. This is the second troll we've seen so far. I had no idea they were so close to our house. They've never bothered us before, but I guess we w never bothered them either. Mother said if I ever saw a troll, I should run the other way. I guess she never said that to father. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so we'll continue exploring this area next time. Sorry that they took that took so many attempts, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 9 of Us Phantom God of War. My name is Ultima456. You're the ultimates. And I'll see you next time.